I just wanted to come on here and show you guys how to make some toys for your babies or for your cats. Honestly, these would work fine for your pets as well. You can add a bell in there if you want. But um, my baby has a play gym and I'm sure yours does too. Um, so I just have three easy ways to make um, toys to add onto your play gym to rotate out through. I'll show you how to make some that look sort of like this. Okay, so the first one we're going to work on is this little felt mushroom. So I went ahead and I cut out the shapes of the pieces that I was going to need. And I'm getting my needle and thread ready. And I'm just going to go ahead and start sewing it together. As you can see here. Okay, so after I go ahead and get that sewed on, I'm going to start working on the mushroom gills, as my sister taught me they're called. She did botany, so I trust her. And, <laughs> and so I'm sewing the gills, and I'm just going to continue going in long stretches all throughout the little mushroom, continuing um, poking my hole back through the center, so it makes this little pattern right here. Okay, and next we are sewing on the stem. And I'm just gonna sew the top part of it so I don't mess anything up. And then I go ahead and add just some little white specks on there. And here I'm getting a loop. I'm making my ribbon into a loop so that way I can hang the toy off of his play gym in a second. Um, and this ribbon was really difficult. It wasn't your typical satin ribbon. It was made out of some sort of paper-like material. It was sort of strange, sort of hard to poke through. So I struggled a little bit with that, but I got it through. Um, hopefully you guys can find satin ribbon. I would suggest that. But I just attached it to the top and then I made it look like a um, another little cross that I had to add to the dimension of the toadstool. And then I just traced around it and I was getting ready to uh, cut the outline because I needed to cover up the back because we don't want to see that ugly uh, thread that's in the back and we wanted to we want to stuff this so it's nice and plushy. So here it is, here's the back and I'm just going to go ahead and sew all the way around, make sure it's nice and um, stitched up and I'm going to leave a hole so I can stuff it. So I went ahead and I stopped at the stem to stuff it because it would be a little difficult to stuff with the stem. Um, so I'm going to stuff it and then I'll sew up the stem and then I'll stuff the stem. So make sure you do those two separately. Alright, get it stuffed and here's your final product. our second one which is a macrame hanging so you need your rings some beads and some string and this isn't any macrame cord or anything it's just some string I found at Hobby Lobby and I just cut it to um, I didn't even measure really I just cut it to a long length that I thought would be long enough uh, to make sure that it reached pretty close to my son's hands when he played with it and I folded them in half and here I am just looping it through the hole and then you pull the rest of your string through that loop so that it's nice and secure and it stays stuck. And then you're gonna have four strands and the two that are in the middle 
um, will stay put the whole time. They won't move, but the two outer ones will be moving. So you go ahead and you cross one over and then you pull the other string over that. It's a little complicated, but you can see what I'm doing here. And then I just loop it through that hole and then I pull, this is called a square knot. Um, there are much better tutorials here on YouTube. Um, so if you need to watch one of those, go ahead. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not so good at explaining that. But again, I'm just going in, in an over under kind of pattern, but the two in the middle are acting as one string. And then you just loop it through the other hole that you made and pull it taut. And I'm speeding up, but I never changed my pattern. And so it starts to create this sort of spiral, as you can see. So there's my spiral and I'm done. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie a knot because I really liked the length that it was. I thought it was long enough to reach towards my son's hands. So the two on the end were pretty short. So I made sure I left enough um, room to be able to tie the two shorter ends because the two in the middle, remember, don't move. So they stay long. So I just pulled that really tight. I don't want it to budge. Um, because in a second, I'm gonna add some beads on there. I don't want the beads to be going crazy. Um, so I just cut off the excess right here, snip it off. And then I have two sizes of beads. Um, and I like the ones with the wider holes um, and the, the tighter hole I want it to go towards the bottom so that way I can tie um, not so thick of a knot um, for it to stay um, secure. So I'm gonna go ahead and start stringing them on here and the wider hole will be so much easier to string first. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I have a little bobby pin with me to help me <laughs> stick it through because as you can see, it's a little difficult if you don't really have any assistance. So what you do is you tie your um, extra strings down there into a knot and then you create a small little loop and you go ahead and stick your bobby pin through one of the strings and it's going to act like sort of a needle but not quite but it's thin enough to fit through the beads so it makes it really easy to string through as you can see right there. Um, so that was the thicker hole beetle. There's another one. Bead. <laughs> I meant bead. <laughs> and then here's some um, really cool shaped, geometric shaped one. And then there's another smaller uh, hole to bead. And I'm going to go ahead and tie uh, a knot there. So I don't need my bobby pin anymore. I can cut that hole off and I'm going to secure this part. So that way I can attach a ring to the bottom or any toy you'd like. You could attach one of the felt toys that um, you make down here as well. But you just want to make sure that it's um, a hole that's a uh, knot that's big enough to not slip through that hole. So here I am making a second knot um, to make sure that it doesn't uh, slide off and just, you know, destroy your nice hard work. <laughs> so there, there it is. And I'm tying a loop around that's thick enough to fit your ring through. So you want to tie a knot at the end of the yarn that has a nice gap that will be wide enough to fit a whole ring. You don't want it to be too small. So go ahead and tie a knot. And I just cut off the excess. I looped a second ring on there because I didn't quite want to put another felt toy. I can if I choose to. That's the nice thing that I can switch these out and move them around. And that's it. It's a macrame cord. Okay, I saved the easiest for last because we started hard and we got easier as we went. So here we are, home stretch. So 
I got three sizes of ribbon and the colors that I really like and I just I mean it's up to you whatever you'd like and you just need another ring for this so simple and I just cut ribbon to a longer length that I like because I can trim it down whenever I want um, if I want my son to reach up higher um, or if I want him to practice reaching in general because he's four months now so I just start trimming the edges of my ribbon make them nice and cute and these were wide enough uh, for me to be able to trim them in a sort of like banner style but this thinner navy blue one was a little skinny so I just snipped it at an angle and I thought that was fine anyway so the same way we looped our macrame cord we just do the same here so all three ribbon you just loop them on there make sure they're nice and tight and they do sort of um, come loose at first but if you just keep pulling then they sort of are malleable enough to um, stay stuck in the position you put them in and that's super easy that's literally all you have to do that's it and that's it for these three versions of toys you can do. Here is what they all look like on my son's play gym. If you decide to make these, any of them, or change it up as much as you want, I'd love to see them. So tag me in your photos or in your stories. Um, thanks so much for watching. Bye.